Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can uh, send information to the server. I have recorded the previous video. It, it took like 15 minutes just to explain this one. So I just want to make it a little shorter this time. So when I click on the update, it should send an HTTP request to the server. I mean, it should uh, submit this form and it should send the image we have. In the previous video, we learned how we can convert the uploaded file to um, base64. So let's go uh, to the profile that view here. You know, here is the update. Uh, button here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a uh, click event here and I say if someone click on this one just say update info call this function plus you can use the event modifier in the in, in view just write prevent here the prevent will not refresh the page if you do not write the prevent it is going to uh, refresh the page that's why we write prevent to modify the event so this is going to call the update info function so what I'm going to write is I'm going to write the function here and this update info function is going to send a put request or a post request to the server. You know we are going to send data. So how we are going to use this? We are going to use xus.put. Of course you can use the form which we have created here because the instance of the form has the same thing. And the, the way it works is like if I go to user here i think we have already yeah here is how it is going to work you just say this dot form dot put which is the easiest way like this is going to be the same way as we write x use dot put something like that so i will use this method and we say this dot form dot put just send this request plus we are not going to send the user id here of course we are going to update one field but we are not going to send the current user id because if any user log into the system and change the id from developer tools and if we take the same id and say go and update that user which has this id they might uh, write another id and that might uh, change someone else's information that's why we, we do not use this method so this is going to send a request to the profile and this is going to be a put request to the profile after that we call then which is going to call the function and then we have coach if you have any error this one will call for this one also i will just write an anonymous or e6 function and for this one also for now we are not going to write anything inside these functions maybe in the future we can catch the error or we can respond to this however we want for now it's fine let's see if this is going to send a request to this url to the profile it should send a put request if i come to the route api here we have a one route called profile and i will create the other one and this time this one will accept a put request this one is going to say update Th this one is going to call the function in the user controller called update pro file something like this so i will copy this name and we will open our controller quickly here is the user controller and here is the profile i will just duplicate this part and we say this is going to be the function we are going to use update profile so if someone is going to send a put request this function will call and this is going to return the current user information we are not going to return it but we are going to store the current user in a variable so that we can update only has information or her information that's why we just write it here now this is fine and then I return a success message for now. Let's say we have a message which is equal to success. We just want to test if this is successful, so just return the message here. So if I save this file, and of course this is going to be like the, the like the update function here. It is going to accept the request so that we can get the new information. I will remove this one yeah now we have the request which is going to uh, take all the information that user submit so this is fine for now and let's see if it is this is going to work if i save the view file plus everything we have and coming here if i refresh it i hope i can record more video today so that i can upload that's why i'm doing it a little quickly so if i refresh it now let's pick a picture from our computer let's pick this girl and now if i come to view going to uh, the profile opening the form here 
yes we have the image we have and this is the extension of the image PNG and let's submit it if I go to the network tab click on the update this is going to send a request and the status is 200 which is okay if I open this one okay remember that this one is the one we are we sent yeah this is going to return the current uh, user information how come if I check the second one yeah the second one is our request which is a success request you know we return the success so this is successful it means we send a request to the server now let's just test it if we have the image on the request we are sending instead of the message I will just comment this line here and this time I return a request and I will say just return the photo if I save it this time oops yeah everything is fine yeah it should not show the error now you do need to change anything because this we brought the server the changes on the server side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send another request another request if I check it yes you can see this is the data we have on the server so now we have the data on the server what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this data and I'm going to change it to an image and that image is going to be saved and the server and that's how we are going to do that so I will do that in the next video there are so many things to learn in the next video so see you there